Good evening, Peachtree Corners. I'm Matt Reeves. I'm here tonight to ask for your support to be your next state senator in District 48, which is David Schaefer's old seat. My wife, Suzette, and my two daughters are here tonight. Suzette, raise your hand. My son hit the showers after sports practice, so uh, he'd be losing votes if he was here. But uh, <laughs> we live right up Peachtree Industrial Boulevard in Duluth, and uh, we love Peachtree Corners. Uh, I want to thank you, PCCA, for saving Simpson Wood. Uh, that was a great effort that you did. the media earlier today, but I get to do it in front of you in person. I'm honored to have the support of U.S. Senator Johnny Isaacson in this race. Before he was Georgia's senior senator, he was a state legislator and chairman of the state school board. I am so honored to have his support. He won this district in 2016, and I appreciate his support. But you know whose support I want? That is yours. I am honored to be here. I care about our local community and quality of life, and I want to fight fiercely for Peachtree Corners down at the Capitol. I'd be honored to earn your support. VoteMattReeves.com. Thank you. She writes to say she gives special thanks to the United Peachtree Corners Civic Association as well as those of you in attendance at the candidate forum tonight. The work that all of you do is invaluable to the people of this district. I'm so sorry that I could not be with you tonight. I'm running to bring new leadership to the state capitol by focusing on better schools, transportation options, and safer neighborhoods. As an Air Force Academy graduate, military veteran, former federal prosecutor, and whistleblower attorney, I bring a lifetime of service and leadership to the legislature. From my humble beginnings in rural Georgia, I learned the values of integrity, honesty, hard work, and selflessness. These are the values that were honed through my service in the Air Force and are the foundation of my collaborative leadership style and commitment to my community. My services continue throughout my career as an attorney. As a federal prosecutor, I work to bring justice to those who committed crimes to include human traffickers, child predators, and fraudsters. Today, I represent government whistleblowers where I've saved taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars while promoting transparency and exposing corruption. My two daughters inspired me to run. During the 2016 election, they observed that no one is being kind to each other, and you, Mom, have to do something to bring us together. They are right. Politics has turned too divisive, and partisanship runs deep. I'm running to bridge the political divide and to restore trust, ethics, and civility back into our public discourse. In the State Senate, I will work with all of my constituents, Democrats, Republicans, and otherwise, to move our state forward. I ask you for your vote and for your support on November 6th. With your vote, I will fight to protect you, your family, and our neighbors. Thanks very much. Would you support a rel religious freedom bill similar to the 2016 version? The 2016 version, um, I want to say on this issue, I want to be the number one most pro-business state senator in the Georgia State Senate. There are 56 senators. So, we talk about controversial issues, whether it's religious freedom or any other ones. I want to make sure that our brand on business stays number one in business. We've been number one in business for five straight years. I want to keep that going by being pro-business and attending to other matters. Uh, on this issue, I think we need to be very careful. There is a federal Religious Freedom Restoration Act that Senator Sam Nunn, that then Congressman Nathan Deal, that President Bill Clinton, signed in the 1990s and there's 25 years of jurisprudence in that area it protects minority religious viewpoints uh, and i know in this district there are people who've moved here from america seeking religious freedom as well as the freedom to do business here in america the american way is to do both so my answer on this is this i think we need to be careful when we legislate to only legislate if it's necessary and we need to keep our brand. Uh, we need to protect both business and people's religious freedom. So the federal version, but we need to look after our local governments to make sure they understand it and that it's acceptable to them. So uh, the federal version. Thank you, Mr. Reeves. Thank you. Mr. Reeves, do you support Medicaid expansion? No, I do not. Uh, I believe that. Uh, uh, I believe that Medicaid was a promise made decades ago for children, for the disabled, for pregnant women, and for low-income seniors. I think we need to honor that promise that was made. I think that we do need to uh, get back to the doctor-patient relationship, and we need to care for needy Georgians who do not have insurance. 
Uh, there are four Republican state senators who are doctors. One of them, Dean Burke, is from, uh, represents eight counties in southwest Georgia, where I was from. Uh, Suzette's also from South Georgia originally. Uh, Dr. Burke has already started taking the lead on this. I saw Senator Unterman here earlier. Uh, we need to uh, look, and she's a nurse, we need to listen to our health care professionals. They're not, we shouldn't double down on a system that's already failing patients and is already um, in need of reform. If you ask your doctor about Medicaid, they will tell you we need to reform Medicaid and fix it. We don't need to double down on a system that's failing people. I want to help Georgians have health insurance and uh, look at the Pennsylvania and Iowa model. That's something I'm taking a look at in addition to Senator Dean Burke's plan. Will you fight for state subsidies so that school teachers can purchase guns and bulletproof vests at a discount? Oh, uh, no. I, I don't do that. My mother-in-law mother is a, a teacher. Uh, some of my heroes in life are teachers. They don't sign up to carry that's weapons right. and to defend uh, their children. That's the right. that's role of government. Um, uh, the, the government should be there uh, at the national level to protect our country. Here at the uh, state level, we've got to protect our kids in schools. We've got to harden those soft targets, make our schools safe. This Senate district is both North Fulton and Gwinnett. Uh, our Gwinnett school system is diligently upping their security plans, which uh, are already pretty strong. In North Fulton, it's been frustrating the elected school board members over there put together a $4 million school safety package, but the Fulton County uh, system and, and uh, with the issues they have, they said, well, we don't have enough money for that. So I'm talking to them, uh, the local elected officials in Johns Creek want to uh, extend what they're doing in, in conjunction with the Johns Creek Police by getting flexibility on East Lost funds for school safety. I will be an advocate for school safety by law enforcement officers and other resource officers. Let's keep our kids safe. Do you believe the legal aid should be eligible for the Hope Scholarship? I want to clarify my remarks on this subject by pointing out the question is illegal aliens. Um, I, I'm running in a district where we have people who come here from all around the world, all around the country to live the American dream, and they have done it. Uh, I think an asset in our community is our vibrant immigrant community, and I am proud uh, of the uh, diversity that we have. Uh, it is an asset in our community, so we need to support our immigrants. On the issue of illegal immigration, we have the HOPE grant and we have college tuition and the costs, the real costs that we've talked about tonight, uh, I think we need to take those things into consideration. We need to make sure that uh, people who have worked hard and played by the rules and gotten their immigration paperwork in, as well as our, our citizens, uh, uh, that they have college paid for. So my answer is no on um, illegal immigrants receiving the HOPE grant and other we know that District 40 covers a number of district, uh, number of districts, a number of areas. Yeah. What are your priorities for the people in this room in Gwinnett County, in District 40? My priorities are our neighborhoods and our schools, our quality of life. Uh, I've been in Duluth the last 15 years, right down the road. I've been practicing business and real estate law at uh, a law firm here in the area. I've been raising three kids. I want to make sure that Gwinnett County, five years, ten years, a generation from now, is uh, what it has been uh, the last generation. It's something that is a great place to live the American dream. Come here, get your kids and grandkids educated to be safe, to do business. I want to look after our quality of life. And that goes into our local elected officials having adequate funding and authority. I appreciate Mayor Mason being with me in this race, uh, being pro-business, somewhere where uh, working people and businesses uh, feel comfortable um, and are coming here from around the country and around the world. Health care solutions, our schools, public safety and school safety, traffic solutions. That's something that I wish we had had more questions about, but I think we're all in agreement it's miserable and we need to get in there and do something about it now. Uh, Ms. Kornishak is not here today. Uh, if, if you were here today, what question would you ask her and what would be the point you're trying to make? Would you like to see my, my only question is, uh, where was my opponent? You and I have something in common. We come tonight, uh, we care. This is the way citizenship and democracy works. You show up, you hash it out, you got it. Republicans, Democrats, and Independents here, we've had discourse. I've listened. 
Uh, I've, I've talked about uh, what, what I care about. I want to hear about what you care about. Show up, listen, hash it out, be an advocate for Peachtree Corners. You can't be an advocate for Peachtree Corners if you don't come here and do this. And I'm grateful for your time. You and I have that in common tonight. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for your time this evening. Uh, you and I came here today to look at several races, and one of them was who can serve Peach Tree Corners the best in the Georgia State Senate. I appreciate you spending the time on that question today. Uh, I hope you've learned a little bit about my principles and, and what I care about, and uh, I've learned a lot about what you care about by the questions, and I thank you for it. I believe there's no government spending program any better for a person than a job is. I believe there's no government spending program any better for a child than a family is. I think that state government ought to do a few things and do them well. We've talked about those tonight. Our schools, our public safety and school safety, our traffic solutions, our um, education, and uh, uh, getting uh, uh, opioids and human trafficking and gangs out of our community. And that's something that we didn't get to tonight, but we need to uh, support public safety in that area. I'll be pro-business and pro-taxpayer. I see my friend Lewis in from Duluth when he was running for council. He highlighted the issue of, we ought to look at tax cuts for teachers, uh, and people have talked about that for veterans. I want to be pro-taxpayer and pro-business and keep our priorities on those important things we care about. After I graduated from Mercer and the University of Georgia Law School, I came to this community. I'm glad it's better now than it was when I got here years ago, and I want to make sure our future uh, is bright. That's why I want to go down to the Georgia State Senate and to serve you, to serve Peach Tree Corners, and to be available for you and to hash out issues, uh, get bills passed that Peach Tree Corners wants passed, and get bills defeated that Peach Tree Corners wants defeated. I want to be in a position to help and to, and to be effective. Um, there's been questions about endorsements tonight. There's no question that U.S. Senator Johnny Isison supports me. Mayor Mike, Mike, Mayor Mike Mason, easy for me to say, uh, endorses me. And I appreciate uh, those leaders. I want to support our locals. I trust the locals, whether it's schools, whether it's law enforcement, whether it's our elected officials, our school board members. I trust the locals, and I hope uh, to earn your trust. Uh, take a yard sign on the way out if you support me. I'd be honored to talk to you tonight and get your support. Thank you.